Hello everyone, I am Tacit and today I'm going to be going over a couple of the changes that have occurred to the Guild War system as well as to a couple of the troops and as well as the results for the most recent first ever Guild Wars and if we go over to our mail we can see just exactly what that is and yes we did end up placing first barely it was a very nice effort by everyone up on the top i came to down to about a 5,000 point difference with anonymous by the end of it but we did end up winning though i believe anonymous was one uh, person down for the entire week but nonetheless we did end up getting this so uh, we'll be showing um i'll be showing this troop at a later time but uh, we do get uh, 100 of the mesmers uh, we'll need to test them out he's the pure bur uh, purple version of the guild guardians we'd of course get the 1500 gems and a small little 50,000 gold but there we go and as far as the change that has happened to the guild war system it is something that um caused uh, quite a bit of controversy uh last week but they have fixed it and there you can see rank one again but um the okay why are all these like that no it won't let me show the thingy then no but um that's weird okay but um i guess it's because the event is still switching over so the game is kind of confused but um one thing that they did switch is the amount of uh extra bonus that you get per uh battle for using a specific color has been greatly reduced for people above um level 100 guardians it now caps out at level 50 it now caps out at level uh, 100 guardians anything above a level 100 guardian will not give you any additional benefit during the guild wars and it seems to start at around like 30,000 just kind of keeps going up about 1% every 5 levels so uh, it's definitely a lot more even than what it was before and now since a good majority of the competitive guilds are at least over level 100 they will be even with all the other guilds so there won't be any kind of gigantic point disparity kind of like there was uh, because um, interim anonymous as well as my own guild as well as any of the other ones that had the full 80% bonus had quite a bit of an uh, advantage the other week but uh, this change will hopefully uh, make it uh, quite a bit more even for uh, all guilds to be able to uh, compete within it so there is one other uh, change or a couple other changes I should say and that is to a couple of troops here we have a change to Courage, Loyalty, Demonstraxia, and Ven Barrack. Most notably though is the Courage. Courage now um, got his uh, final legendary trait reduced. Instead of giving plus 3 attack and life to all allies, it has now been reduced down to plus 2. Still excessively good value and still outvalues all the other uh, on skull options, but at least now he's not as ridiculous as he was before. Uh, loyalty got the inverse of that though she used to do a plus two now she does a plus three to both armor and life so we might start seeing some loyalty usage prior to this she didn't really have much of a purpose but uh, now that she could <clears throat> do uh, three armor and life every single time she'll uh, probably start getting used maybe with like some kind of rowing team or just in general on uh, green related days i remember even i ended up doing it on one of the green days and uh, Demonstraxia and Ven Barrack both got their damage increased slightly, and they both now have a 75% chance to do their status effects. So uh, Demonstraxia here has the 75% chance to burn all enemies, as well as um, the Ven Barrack now having a 75% chance to disease all enemies. Not quite sure if they're ever going to raise it to 100%. Both of them, though, now at the 75% and the slight damage increase are definitely scaled uh, better compared to... Uh, the other dragons, though, um, Ben Barrack now, the fact that it hits all enemies, is scaled above some of the other dragons, considering uh, how low the mana cost is. So, we might need to try something else with Ben Barrack. Disease is a somewhat underwhelming stas effect, but it can still be uh, pretty annoying. It can negate out uh, mana, and anything that can negate out mana is pretty decent. Plus, of course, it has the magic link. And Demistroxia, uh, you can actually get from uh, for free from completing out the... Darkstone quest line and it's one of them that I have said for the longest time is pretty much useless but uh, he does have the pyromania into the burn option now and now the fact that it can actually burn pretty easily will allow it to actually utilize its pyromania if you do end up getting it otherwise it'll just be a really good uh, burner earlier on in the game so uh, even though I've said this troop is useless in the past that buff that it now got 
Yeah, it probably makes it uh, decent since burn is extremely effective early on and the only other way that you can burn all enemies uh, as a newer player other than doing a Demostroxia would be if you somehow get a war and that is very 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 unlikely so uh, Demostroxia will now be the way that you will be able to do it but anyways that are all the changes the results for the Guild Wars if you still have any other questions about the Guild Wars or anything else feel free to leave it in the comment section below best of luck again for all of you within the uh, Guild Wars and I will see you all later thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week